how can couples explore intimacy without penetration? What is the relationship between cardiovascular health and sexual function? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Couples can explore intimacy without penetration through cuddling, kissing, sensual massages, erotic games, manual or oral stimulation, and practicing emotional and verbal intimacy. Cardiovascular health and sexual function are linked. Healthy blood circulation is essential for optimal sexual function. Cardiovascular diseases can negatively affect sexual response. Regular exercise and a healthy lifestyle benefit both the cardiovascular system and sexual function. In some Latin American countries, sex education remains a taboo subject due to cultural and religious influences. However, there are growing movements to integrate it into school curricula as a way to address issues such as teenage pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases. Leather clothing fetishism. Leather clothing fetishism involves an attraction to clothing made of leather, such as tight pants, jackets, or boots. The smell, texture, and association with domination can be exciting aspects for those with this fetish. Legal and social recognition. Although open relationships are gaining acceptance, they are still not legally recognized in many places, which can complicate aspects such as child custody or partner benefits. In the LGBTQ community, inclusive and affirmative sexual education is essential to address the specific needs of queer, transgender, and non-binary individuals, promoting acceptance and diversity in all sexual orientations and gender identities. Love and sex. Love and sex are closely related in the human experience. Emotional intimacy can significantly enhance sexual satisfaction, and sex can strengthen emotional bonds. The combination of love and sex can be a source of enrichment in relationships. Lubrication is essential. Since the anus doesn't naturally lubricate like the vagina, it's crucial to use lubricants to prevent friction and reduce the possibility of irritation. Lucid dreams are those in which a person is aware they are dreaming and can take control of their dream. Some people report having sexual experiences in lucid dreams. Male multi-orgasms. Although it is more common for women to experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session, some men can also achieve it. It is believed to be more likely in young and healthy men. The practice of controlling ejaculation can help some men achieve multiple orgasms. Masturbation and creativity. Experimenting with different positions, rhythms, pressures, and stimuli during masturbation can increase excitement and pleasure, fostering sexual creativity. Masturbation and menstrual cycle. Some women experience an increase in sexual desire and frequency of masturbation during certain phases of their menstrual cycle, such as ovulation. Masturbation and self-awareness. Both men and women can learn more about their bodies and sexual responses through masturbation. Self-exploration can help discover which type of stimulation is most effective in achieving orgasm. Masturbation as part of sexuality. Masturbation is a common and healthy way to explore sexuality and provide oneself with pleasure. Although it has often been stigmatized, masturbation can be a safe and satisfying practice in the context of healthy sexuality. Masturbation. During menstrual cycle, some women find that masturbation can alleviate symptoms of premenstrual syndrome, PMS, and menstrual cramps by releasing endorphins and reducing muscle tension. Masturbation. During pregnancy, many women continue to masturbate during pregnancy as it can help alleviate sexual tension and maintain intimacy with their partners. Masturbation in the elderly. Masturbation is not exclusive to young people. Many older women continue to enjoy masturbation as a way to maintain a healthy and satisfying sexual life. 
Medical fetishism. Medical fetishism involves sexual attraction to medical scenarios, uniforms, or instruments. This can include role-playing where one person assumes the role of doctor or patient, exploring the sensuality and vulnerability associated with medical care. Medications and side effects. Some prescribed medications, such as antidepressants, antipsychotics, and medications for high blood pressure, can have side effects that include erectile dysfunction. Menopause and sexuality. Menopause can impact women's sexuality, causing symptoms like vaginal dryness and changes in sexual desire. Communication with a partner and medical attention can help address these changes. Mobile applications. There are mobile applications dedicated to the Kama Sutra that offer interactive guides, tips, and tutorials on different sexual positions and techniques to enhance intimacy in couples. Multiple orgasms. Some women can experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session, involving one orgasm after another without a refractory period, enabling continuous pleasure. Multiple pathways. While clitoral stimulation is a common way to achieve a female orgasm, some women may experience orgasms through stimulation of other areas, such as nipples or the G-spot. Musculature. Muscularity, especially in men, can be considered attractive as it relates to strength and physical fitness. Myths about premature ejaculation. There are several myths surrounding premature ejaculation, such as the belief that it is an issue exclusive to young men or that it is always related to lack of interest in the sexual partner. Myths and taboos. Throughout history, female masturbation has been surrounded by myths and taboos. However, it is increasingly recognized as a normal and healthy part of female sexuality. It is important to challenge and overcome these stigmas to promote a positive attitude towards sexual self-exploration in women. Navel fetishism. Some individuals find sexual arousal towards navels, either admiring the aesthetic appearance of a partner's navel or engaging in erotic activities involving navel stimulation. In some European countries like the Netherlands and Germany, sexual education programs are implemented, including visits to sexual and reproductive health clinics for young people to obtain information and services in an accessible and confidential manner. No relation to sexual orientation. Engaging in anal sex is not related to sexual orientation. Both heterosexual and homosexual women can enjoy this activity. Non-physical contact. Foreplay. Foreplay doesn't always involve direct physical contact. Women can enjoy more subtle foreplay, such as sending flirty text messages, exchanging seductive looks, or sharing sexual fantasies, which can increase anticipation and desire. Oils and lubricants. Using oils and lubricants during foreplay can not only make the experience smoother and more enjoyable, but also help prevent discomfort or pain during penetration. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.